Hello and welcome to the bow, show. Bow, bow. What's up? The showdy. We're the show. How our, how are you all? Who's here? Our nightly show. Let us know by yelling really loudly into the night. We are live. It's Thursday night. It's Thursday night live. Thirsty Thursday. I'm back on that sauce. Back just hopped right off the wagon. Crack. Ooh-wee. Oh, is it watermelon already? It's watermelon <laughs> o'clock? Oh, yeah, we're into Swamp. Oh, yeah, you lost, right? Oh, this stupid Stupid rat. mini game that rat I don't know how game. to play. Oh, y'all back to help stop them rats? Y'all back uh, to help stop <laughs> them rats? Oh, wow. Get him, get him. Over there. Over there. Rats is over there. Yeah, get those rats. This is the, just like the height. The video games that could never get better than this. I'm so glad that I'm doing this dumb task. Did you ever play the uh, Space Quest series of games? Of course. So one of them had a, a little arcade game in like a diner or something, space diner. Uh huh. And it was like a chicken game. You played a chicken. I'm surprised you played the Space Quest games. Why? Because they were mainstream. Well, Space Quest 3 was like the one we played a lot. Insert Buckazoid. And uh, so there's a part in Space Quest 3 where you get to the towards the end, and you have to shoot down some enemy ships. Very like Millennium Falcon shooting down the Tie Fighters kind of thing. Uh huh. And Whenever I played it, I knew if I killed the first one, I was going to win. For Damn it! S- for some reason, if I miss the first ship... No, Naughty Dog is just the, the company developer. that made the Jack and Dexter game. Yep, uh, that was intentional. If I miss the first ship, for some reason, I could never hit the other ships. But if I got the first one, I could hit the rest of them. So it was like, I don't know what, but it was like, I knew I would win then. Just anyway, I, I on Steam I got the whole suite of space Same. Quest games, and it's like impossible. Oh, Sierra games are notorious because you can get yourself into positions of like you lose the game. Like you could not do something, and then three hours later discover you right. lost the game. But I just remember being able to like run through Space Quest Three so easily because I had everything memorized. And now I can't remember anything. I'm like, how? Do, where do I even go? It was a fun bit of nostalgia though playing it. Oh yeah. They're still funny games. They're still yeah, good. They're good. The I, uh, the people who made the original Space Quests and stuff, the the team, um, they are remaking the first adventure game. Uh, they they got back together and uh, Colossal Cave Adventure, like the very first. Oh, cool. Back on like mini computers and stuff that uh, existed. So I'm excited to play that. They're making it in VR. It used to be text based. Ver, uh, the red thing, those little, the the rats. Yeah, the red things are rats, not Sonics. They're Sonic the Hedgehogs. <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of Sonics. Ah, chili dogs. Man, I am still just I. Fuck this game! I don't want to play it anymore. I'm telling you. Just well, if you change your mind. Change your mind. You know where to find me. <laughs> um, it's not worth it. I'm still just floored by the. Insane difference in quality between the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie and the second one. I still haven't seen either. Oh, why is the camera all inverted? The first one's like a, a legitimately good movie. Like, I don't know about that, but it's like fun to watch. It's a good movie, and Jim Carrey is great in it. And the second one, it's just like a steaming pile of crap. Yeah! Oh, don't get those. Which one? Those? Those are bad. Do you know who Duncan Trussell is? Shit. Duncan Trussell? No. Why does that name sound familiar now? Ah! Uh, you're just like a... What a comedy of errors. Uh, who's Duncan? Is this like a... Are you testing us? Trying to make us your Duncan Trussell fool? <laughs> is there a way to... Change? Not that. No. Like change the camera. There is not, I don't think. Well, that sucks. 
Yep. I, I don't want this. Stop! This is this is great. Just hit start. There we go. Are you gonna follow up that Duncan Trussell question with any? Or are we just gonna remember that? Oh, I think you have to go actually the other way past the farmer because I came from this way before. So I think if even if you just pass him by, you don't want to play his game. I definitely his don't want to play his filthy game. games. No, I'm done playing games. That's the spirit. He has the podcast, the Duncan Trussell Family Hour podcast, and he made the Netflix show, The Midnight Gospel. I have not seen either. Uh, the Midnight Gospel? Step one. We're watching The Stay Midnight alive. Club? Train to nowhere. Like the Midnight Club? Midnight Train to Georgia. Which I'm sure is a reference Taking to The Midnight, midnight Society. I'm reading a book called Nixon Land. It's about the rise of Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon, tricky dick. And it is about, <coughs> basically, you could have written it today. It, all of the same shit. It's the same fucking shit. Fun fact, he's called tricky dick because of his strangely shaped penis. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, it is true. <laughs> yeah, you can just join up. It's a little bit like a corkscrew. Go back and shoot that rat, that rat tree. This is fun, though. Guns! Look at all these eggs, though. Donate those puppies. It's a science. Make some money. Don't get, say anything interesting get, for 60 seconds. Get that Get that little... Get him, get him. Oh, yeah. That's a power cell. Get the power cell! Go get the power cell! Oh, it came God! out of it! Money. money noises. Yeah, cause I got the money. I got, got the money. The money. All right, go back and shoot that rat. That rat tower. You rat bastard. Fewer trombones. Nah. Yeah, there's like one we, less. It's cause we played all those. Uh, we played all the songs already. Keep shooting it. Keep shooting it. So the rats don't come out. No more rats. Sometimes there's stuff underneath it. <laughs> Not this time. Not that time. Yeah, I think I'm here. Yes, you are. You are. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Classic. Did you? Did you? I have don't anything? know how to participate in the stream and also see it. Yeah. I'm uh, trying to get Twoku or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, that's what I do. It doesn't work though. It's too slow. Yeah, there's a huge delay. Do, do you uh, ha have a like a phone and a laptop? There, there will always be a 10 second delay between because you're experiencing real time audio. But the Twitch you servers, are now experiencing <laughs> real time audio. But the Twitch servers take about 10 seconds on average. Real time audio should be better by now. I have a laptop and a phone, but. How would that be better? Because you can watch the delayed stream. You can watch the stream on one and then talk. I don't know. Yeah. Was there a story you wanted to tell us, regale us with? About this Duncan man? <laughs> I love the Duncan man. Duncan Trussell. Okay, so my sister told me about the Midnight Gospel on Netflix. And it took me like a year or more to actually watch it. But when I did, it changed my whole life. It's an animated show that, and there's only a couple episodes, but they are put together from episodes of the podcast that he has. It's called Duncan Trussell Family Hour, but it's not family friendly necessarily. And. It's just excerpt from some of his most interesting guests, and... So it's like an interview show? Um, yeah, sort of, but it's just, it, he just invites on people that he likes talking to, and then there's really long episodes of them just talking about whatever. It's not very structured. 
I wish I could be friends with Duncan Trussell because of how dramatically the Midnight Gospel affected my life. Now I'm just sounding dramatic. I'm. <laughs> Sounds like you got I'm one of them parasocial relationships. Uh, it does sound social? like a show that I would be interested in watching. But, um. Yeah, don't know. I've never seen it. I didn't even know. God! <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard! I can't even see your game! It's it's a lot of me dying, playing, yeah, playing the game just badly. Just dying in the swamp. How many episodes of the uh, Midnight Gospel are there? Not many, only like six. And I don't think there will be more. Get the rest of them, and you could be a shoot longer. Yeah, but I already got everything, I mean, it's... Oh. Right. I'm sad because I keep seeing what you guys are doing. It's nothing important. Uh, yeah, it's I'm just... just over here really monologuing about my creed thoughts. <laughs> and none of it relates to any else of it. No, it's great. It's, this is the content. I'm glad. I'm like, there are shows that I have listened to that have had that effect on me. I, I kind of don't want to meet those people because they are good in my mind and I don't want them to be human beings. They are good. They are good and pure. I like that and I feel the same way. And also I feel like this Duncan guy, I feel like he... I don't, I don't have him on a pedestal at all. I just think that... Yeah, shoot the air gun. Just it sounds like you're on a little bit of a pedestal. He's slightly raised. I don't think he's perfect. I really like him, and I want to get to talk to him. I wish I could, but I don't think he's perfect or all-knowing, and I just It sounds think... like you need to become someone he's interested in, and then you can, he can invite you on his podcast. Um, how dare you <laughs> insinuate the... <laughs> It seems Someone like you need to do something to get on the radar of Mr. Duncan. Mr. Trussell. Mr. Trussell. Is there a okay. fan base? Are they called like the Please. It's Tr Mr. Manager. Mania? I feel like I'm being mocked right now. I'm not, I'm not mocking. A lot of times there's fan bases with like different names. Um, there's not a fan base with a name. And I'm already supposed to talk to I just have to figure out, do I email him, tweet at him, what do I like, do? Hello, sir. I would like to be a guest on your show and Wait, email. Wait, you might be something. I feel like this whole swamp is, is just my death. That's why they call it Death Swamp. Do they? No, I don't know what it's called. That's when I'm going to message him. You need, like, this shoot whole swamp is a death swamp. <laughs> Not even close. Cool, fine. Like, I'm fine. I'm cool. Are oh, you back at the like the start of the swamp now? I think so. I didn't have fire before, did I? Yeah, I feel like you missed something somewhere. There's eggs up there. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, man. The swamp is doing you in. You wounded me. You wound me, sir. Are you still there, Veracity Jane? Yeah. Just checking. We got scared. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'm, I'm like, close to handing you this controller, so I... How many uh, episodes of the uh, Duncan Trussell Family Hour are there? You can give it to Papa. I'm not great. Give it to Papa. I'm not great at this game. Papa. Papa's my name. I'm not. I will never call you Papa. I, that's how I refer to myself. Oh, it's at the... It put us back here at the beginning of the swamp. Are we done in the swamp? No. Oh. <laughs> you said that was such fury. Not even close to... Be, see, it, like, you were back at the beginning here. 
there is a new show that I watch that I like. It's very short, but very good. Um, they're not done with it. They're keep like they're releasing new episodes and everything. It's called Papa and Boy. Yeah, it's this. Our so we're gonna call Two Met Play. <laughs> Papa and Boy. It's uh, it's it's got it's an allegory uh for uh, a lot of hierarchies in society. It's done. It's a comedy. It's like an art animation. Um, it's very good. Uh, it is about the fatherson system, uh, where society is ruled by a series of papas and boys, oh. and all the boys are at the bottom and all the papas are at the top. I mean, it's oh, just the way no. of the world. It's really good. Um, uh, it's so really funny. If if you're a boy, you got to be a bottom boy. Hello, Caitlin from Ben Hur. I I'm so yes. surprised <laughs> that you're at Ben Hur. You're at the Ben Hur. <laughs> That's so funny. Then to the Biltmore. Wow, you are making the rounds. Yeah, somebody wants to have fun at school tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, Poppin' Boy, I recommend it. There's a free episode on YouTube, on Means TV's uh, YouTube channel. But the rest of the episodes are on Means TV. And uh, yeah, can't recommend it enough. Each episode's like five, ten minutes. I feel like YouTube TV was going to be a thing, and then it suddenly wasn't. Like, people were making shows just on YouTube. Oh yeah, that that fun like dried up. Yeah, like that ended so quickly. YouTube TV is still a thing. That's how you pay, that's like um, you pay for TV channels. Like I know, I know, TV but channels. like people were making like YouTube TV yes. originals. Uh, they that didn't turn out to be financially viable, so they right because people were like, but I'm not paying. For yeah, this. I do subscribe. Like I do have YouTube Premium. It's one of my subscriptions. Cause I used to. I have use it. it. It's like where I watch the majority of my stuff is on yeah. YouTube. So. It's worth not having to deal with ads. I used to do it for the backgrounding them. stuff. Because on YouTube Premium was cheaper than YouTube Music. Yes. But having YouTube Premium gave me right. YouTube Music, which was like kind of an insane loophole to me. Uh, now it's like it's like fifteen bucks or something, fifteen sixty bucks. Yeah. Uh, it's not cheap, but I do get. I, th I feel like I get my fifteen bucks out of it. And it gives a, a higher percentage to creators when you watch their stuff and you have YouTube Premium. They get like a pretty significant uh, like boost of money. Okay. Support your creators is what I say. That's what you always say. That's what I'm always saying. That's one thing I know about you is you're always saying that. Is that thing floating away now? Get out of here, Blimp. It's got one left. Oh, no, nope. there it goes. Oh, we got a graphical aberration. That's right. An aberration. Bye, Get out of here, moldy Birch. pile. Well, yeah. Yeah. How's everybody doing well, yeah. the savening from the Ben Hur Tavern? And wherever you happen yeah, to how, be. How's, 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 how's Ben? Oh, jeez. How's old Ben Hur? I went running today and almost got hit by a car. That nice. was fun. That happens every so often. It was really close. And then you give him a nasty glare. The just, nasty. just a real nasty, like, what the hell are you doing? I am a pedestrian. I will scuff your bumper so bad if you hit me. Hey! That's right. That's the stuff. That's the content. Ben Hur, I hardly know her. I don't feel good about it. <laughs> I, I feel strongly about it. I don't know how to get those. Right, maybe I do. I got the jab today. My arm is sore. <laughs> God. Ugh. See, I still feel like you said job. I didn't say job, though. My fourth booster, or my second booster, fourth shot. I'm bivalent it up. Oh, great. Arriva stay. Arriva stay. Oh, bivalent Pfizer. I got the bivalent Moderna. Um, they I actually gave me a choice, and bivalent. I was like, I got Pfizer last time, so I might as well switch it up. <laughs> switch it. Yeah, my, I I like the flavor better. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta collect feels, them all. It feels good. I have call it a one of everything. I have now three Modernas and one Pfizer. Ugh. I think God, I've done so all sore. all Pfizer's so far. Ah. 
Pfizer gang. They're they're both great. They're both they both work fantastic. So put it put that shit in your arm. That's what I, that's my uh, that's poster. What, that's what they say. Put it up in your schools. Put that shit in your arm. I did see a study that um, a lot of people, a lot of uh, doctors were saying that like if we use nasal spray vaccines, like they'll work better because that's like the, one of the main points of entry. Yeah. And the first study that came out said, eh, nope. <laughs> a lot of people were pinning hopes on that one. Did not work out. Um, it's not as effective as just intermuscle vaccines. So I guess back to the old drawing board for that one. Science is not always successful. Sounds like it was successful at figuring out what's better. Yeah, I agree. That's that. If you count that as success, just gathering knowledge, I totally 100% agree. Now we know. We didn't before. When did you get yours, uh, Eriviste 11? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We fucked around, yeah, we did fuck around. We found out. Uh, it's a very, there's a graph. I don't know if you've seen that TikTok, where it's like, you, up here, it's how much you fuck around, how much you find out. It's a linear function. If you don't fuck around, you're not gonna find out. You're not gonna find out at all. Oh no, I was asking when. Like, did you get it today or recently, or, or like, um, did you get it, uh, oh, like a while ago? Oh yeah, cool, cool. So the solidarity with hurt arms. Get that rock out of the way. I can't. What the heck? Oh, it's Neil. Hey, Neil. I didn't know. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Emily told me that, that uh, y'all uh, got it today. Now it's all coming together. Get out of here, rats. You rat bastard. I got to backtrack through this whole oh, yeah. swamp. Um, last you left me... Uh, because you all give a shit about my medical story. Um, last week, I was set to get uh, minor surgery on a Friday uh, following the stream, and I went to the doctor, and they said, we don't need to. So I didn't need to get it, which was really awesome. I wasn't looking forward to it. And he showed me the tool. It's like a, it's a punch biopsy. And they basically take like uh, like a four millimeter like long your little like plug. Plug of your skin. Yep. And they just twist it, and then they pull it out, mm -hmm. um, and then they sew it up. Uh, didn't need to get it. So, like, cool. Glad I didn't have to go through that. They already had all the tools laid out. I was like, guess I'm doing this today. But cool development. Yeah, how come you didn't need it? They said I was, like, everything was, like, healed up for this time. Yeah. Um, so. Nothing to take a skin plug of. Yeah, they're just, like, it'd just be normal skin. So, like, yeah. it, they didn't get it in time, basically. I don't even know if they would have done anything. Like, even though, like, the oh, as the medical term skin really? eruption. <laughs> uh, That's what? my favorite uh, <laughs> Van Halen song. Oh, yeah. Everybody erupt. Um. But yeah, so didn't need to get it. I have an allergy appointment next week, so I get to find out all the shit I'm allergic to. Hopefully it's illuminating. My guess is cats outside. That's the majority of that I know. But maybe there's new and stuff. And bullshit. I'm so allergic to bullshit. Um, I speak... <laughs> the stupid fucking teachers are like, I'm fluent in sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> I speak allergy. <laughs> Fluently. Get some. Get some. Get some. Nasty, nasty, nasty. <laughs> nasty, nasty. <laughs> sugary skin plug fate. Got that yeah, sugary it's, skin. If plug. you look it up, punch biopsy and look at if you if you're of the um, strong willed and, and could handle the, the imagery, it's pretty gruesome. Like I mean it's it's very good, but like yeah, it's kinda gross. Never makes you feel more like a uh, like a science experiment. Come 
God, they're so everywhere. Ugh. Fuck these stupid. Uh, are you kidding? It. Are you kidding? God, I did a little Leo pose. Gosh darn it. I, I saw someone describe their age online as too old for Leo to date. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a creep. What a creep. Over there! Over there! I set up uh, Libby this week. I don't know if you use that yeah, at all. The library app. It's so good. Yep. I love it. This is a public service to, announcement. I need go to get go a library in and, card. I need to renew my library card so I can actually set up a new Libby account on my new phone. Yeah, I had to. I had to do that last time. I was, I was in the library for a meeting, and so I just like kind of walked over yeah, and said, nice. like, "Hey, can I renew?" I need to renew it. Oh, it's so good. The only problem is like some of the wait times on the books. I have like a God, forget it. Well, it's so annoying. It's so hard. Like they just appear. Yeah. Nowhere to find me. Shut up. <laughs> um, there's like 18 week holds on some of the things that I want. So it's like, uh, it's like a long time. I do have an Audible account still, an Audible Silver plan, so I get a, a credit every two months, and uh, so that's a good supplement for some of the books that I can't either find or that I don't want to. I had an Audible for. plan that I got a credit every month, but I canceled it because it was too expensive. Yeah, they so you can't sign up. At least the last time, you couldn't sign up for a Silver account. What you can do is you can sign up for a normal account, and then when you try to cancel, they'll yeah, be like. Right. Oh, we can drop you down to the secret tier. Right. And so that's where I'm at. I don't love the thought of giving Amazon money, but I do love their selection of audiobooks. It just sucks that Audible is Amazon. Yeah. Same with Comixology. Yep. I feel like they're they're pretty much the uh, the world conglomerate. <laughs> if you uh, if, if anybody wants to feel particularly old, um, like we are on this show. Uh, Mortal Kombat is celebrating its 30th anniversary. This Hold on. 30th anniversary for Mortal Kombat. I remember going to the Chucky, not Chucky e. Cheese's. What the fuck is it called? Celebration Station in Maryville. The and Chuck E. Cheese's. No, we didn't have a Chuck E. Cheese. Um, we had a Celebration Station, which also had animatronic animals. It was bigger than a Chuck E. Cheese. Um, they had more stuff. But the Mortal Kombat cabinet, uh, you had like all the arcade games and like tickets and everything like at the bottom, and there was like a secret stairwell in like this little platform with like three arcade games, and they had the Mortal Kombat's up there. So I was like a kid and I was like, oh god, <laughs> there's so much blood. All right, there was something else in there, but. Hoopla, another digital app, has yeah. zero wait times. I don't know about this Hoopla. Okay, well I'm gonna sign up for that. It's another one. And another one. Another one. That's good information. Thanks for looking out. All right. Gotta watch out for that piranha. Great, you have the cells for the machine. Great, just the machine. You have cells for the machine and confusing feelings for me. Oh, that blue science is doing some good work. Blue science. Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. Wah, wah, wah. Nice try. 
Hey, Jack, you're like a, shoot some your sort shot. of weasel. That's Daxter. Yeah, sorry, Daxter, you're some sort of weasel. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my freaking, audiobooks of leftist text? Awesome. I'm always looking for those. And Libby has some, they have some, but the selection is, is not as large as I Big monster. I hoped, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Hoopla. Look at this strongman. That's right. Big monster, man. Oh, he's got a cool glove that shoots rocks or something. A uh, classic villain tool. Oh, uh, yeah, like a big mech arm. Oh, you can just swim in the lava, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, look who's here. You can also shoot at his crotch. I'm assuming that's what you're shooting at. Indiana Jones time. Bang, bang, bang. Whoa. This is still like, this is still a PS2 game. I'm still impressed by it because like this was coming off of like early 3D, so like the original PlayStation and uh, especially N64. You couldn't have bosses like this. You couldn't have worlds this large. Like, where's my, where's my blue eco, man? I don't know where your blue eco is. He's got to shoot more rocks at you. There you go. There it is. It just didn't show up the last time. It's because they're making it harder. Yes. And you're going to have to shoot fire at this man's crotch for three times, my guess is, because that's how bosses do. They can only right. take three times. I mean, how many fire to the crotch do you want to take? Oh, three minimum and maximum. I can absorb three. Three fires. Three, and then I go down. Something new? Nope. But a little oh. more clever. A little more anticipatory. Oh, they're not. They're just everywhere. They're not actually following you. Yeah, this time. They're random. Man. You gotta start over? Punishing game. Are you excited for fall break? Uh, yes. Quite. Do you have any cool plans for fall break? Going camping. For like the whole of break? Just for the first weekend. Kind of. We're going Saturday to Monday. That's fun. Like the last camp of the year? Yep. Last camp of the year. He drops that big rock on his head. I hate when I do that when people are shooting fire at my crotch. Yeah. I do it all the time, too. You think I'd learn? Shoot me! Shoot me, dragon! Pin the army man! <laughs> doing a spirit bomb over there. I don't think if Goku was doing the spirit bomb and somebody was just repeatedly nailing him in the crotch, I don't think he could do it. He'd probably stop doing the spirit He'd bomb. He'd st probably stop doing the spirit bomb. And none of his enemies even thought to think, maybe I'll just shoot fireballs at his crotch. Right. I mean, that's... That's like, come on. The thing about Goku is he is one of the worst fathers to exist in television. Huh. Everyone's just like, 
hey, Dad, um, I'm starting to live my life now. I'm trying to be like a productive member of society. And he's like, yeah, but I want to fight. Yeah, but I got like a family now, and so do you, technically, but you don't seem to give a shit. And he's like, oh, man, I'm so bored. I want to fight. It's like, Dad, you're making everything so much worse. He's so selfish. He's always gone. Did I get him? You got him. That's three. Oh, yes. And the magic number is three. Three being the number. Three is all they can take. Just three to the groin, and then you're out of you're out of it. Oh no, oh, not the no. not the lurkers. Them again. Don't we ever get a break? You have to write another thing. That's right. Me, 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 me. Oh my! Those workers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon. Okay, bye. 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 Thanks for stopping by. Destroy the detonator, or it's all over. Oh well, miss those. Oh, you got eco now. Is the goal to just hit all the boxes? Uh, I think I have a limited amount of time before it explodes. What's exploding? All these bombs everywhere. Oh, gotcha. But I don't know if that's true, actually. <laughs> Fuck. God damn, I'm gonna be sore in the morning. More sore. There's always like a volcano cave. This is like a crystal Oh, I gotta, cave. I've gotta beat them to the Oh, I got gotcha. you. To the end. That's right, that's right. There's a little bug man. <laughs> the sound of the sound like the speed up noise sounds like someone just going to the microphone going burr, burr, burr. <laughs> like hey hey Jeff get in burr. here do that noise you do a boo got it perfect we it. We it from the barely yeah that is a barely good work you beat them to the detonator good work Gate so we can join you. Join him. Did you see that um, uh, th it's relevant to this game, I swear. Mm. Um, John Carpenter, the <laughs> famous composer, director, all around cool guy, um, was interviewed by yep. the AV Club. Yep. Not only the they AV Club. They mentioned Jack and Dexter. They mentioned Jack and Dexter, but it was Will Hughes that did the interview. Yep. Um, and I was just reading it in his voice when I was watching. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's like, that's fair. And I was like, yeah, that's... I know that. Uh, but he mentioned Jack and Daxter is one he liked. So that was that was cool. We're playing... I did see the Dr. Bronner news. I used to use Dr. Bronner uh, soaps and whatnot. Yeah, he's a big gamer. He did um, a bunch of horror... Like, he's a horror uh, film uh, classic, like Halloween. Would you, dear sister... Certainly not. And the thing. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. Ho, no ho, ho, ho. Hoity and toity. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Oh. Nobody ever listens to old Samos. <laughs> old Samos. The, the, the one with the log in my hair. about your colorful friends, you old fool. Perfectly safe. You old fool. Hey, I've read fiction before. Um, but, you know, this dark power, I don't think I can control it. I don't think it's going to take me over. I'm different. I'm a little bit built different. I'm better. Maybe even better than the gods. <laughs> Maybe even better than the gods. It's one of my favorite tweets. <laughs> but I'm built different. I'm better than that. Maybe even better than the gods. Maybe even better than the gods. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a boobly shirt. Yes. 
we will have access to the armor. Best. You know what? This is <laughs> dark eco. I mean, protecting the now. most vital. The yes, silos. but only yes. a little. The but only silos. a little. Yeah. They will be um. And all the dark eco yeah. Uh, there was a tweet like that's like, oh yeah. You know, if I were in the Lord of the Rings, I just simply wouldn't be seduced by the ring. <laughs> Easy. Easy. I just wouldn't be seduced by the power of the ring. Wait a minute. That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. I gotta get me some of those log shoes. Oh yeah, and that unnecessary like <laughs> groin wrap <laughs> that's just over his other clothes. I feel like he he got like a cool walking stick, and he's like, "This is a little bit too big." Just make, make shoes that are. Bigger. I need some log shoes. Yeah. He's just like working out his calves. Oh yeah, they're real good for the calves. And that log hair—that's such a big log. I mean, it's really just working the neck muscles. To have you gotta like really. <laughs> and Gull have gotten in over their great balls of eco. Great balls of eco. Great balls of eco. Oh goodness, boy. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. I wish I could skip. There are spiders in the spider cave. You can't miss right? the story. I hate the freaking spider cave. The, the spider cave. riveting story but about the, the great of balls of eco. Great the balls of eco. Spider Cave is one of my least favorite parts of this game. Well, we're about to enter it. It's just a lot of, just a lot of. There is. So, have you played Psychonauts? I don't know. Um, it's a good game. Uh, I really like it. But there was a second one, and I kickstarted it, and it took forever to come out, and I have it, but I haven't played it at all. Uh, but there is a Cave of Teeth, and like, there, it's optional because like it triggers a lot of like awful things for people. It's like. A lot of teeth. Like, the whole cave is teeth and mouths and gums and stuff. It's gross. Yeah, it's kind of gross. But uh, really good, like, horror sort of, like, not horror, but, like, creepy. It's yeah. creepy. It's not, like, bloody or anything. It's just teeth. <laughs> it's just teeth. But, like, a lot of teeth. Um, but I really want to play that game. Um, there's nothing really stopping me besides my own everything. Hey, Gordy. I think we got visited. Oh my god. He's got a bird on his head? And a lit candle? That's just Mario and Luigi. <laughs> the Mario Brothers. Yeah, Mario, Mario, and Luigi Mario. Hey, hello, it's a me, Mario. Hi, I am in the new movie. Welcome. <laughs> Father. Hello, hello. Um, is this Yoshi? Oh, King Koopa, I will destroy you. Um, I love that lasagna. Is that me? I'm a Mario. <laughs> Yeah, I'm um, uh, Mondays. Don't like them. Uh, that's that's my trademark shucks. thing, Mario. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got twelve more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Oh, all right already. Here, take this precursor. Why'd you get it? Just because you talked to him? I gave him 90 orbs. Oh, okay. I think they got two for me. Yeah. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Orbs of yours. Orbs of yours. Orbs of yours. Take those orbs of yours. I think that's it. Oh. Right do another one. Here's a power cell for those orbs. Taking it from hammer space. I gotta get a big metal ring to tie another one. Oh god, excuse me. Ah! <laughs> excuse me. Oh god, it's coming. Why don't you two make yourselves useful? Lurkers have been excavating the dark caves over there. No. Nah. They're looking for precursor artifacts. I'm trying to find my girlfriend, Princess Peach. It's a me Mario. <laughs> Hello. It's a Mario. Hi. All right, take it back. Spider Cave's not as bad as the dark. Like, the, just these caves are so annoying. Favorite Halloween movie. I think my favorite Halloween movie, it has to be uh, Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, it's got to be that. Is there another Hollow? Oh, uh, like Hocus Pocus people like? I like Nightmare Before People Christmas. like horror movies. 
people like Halloween, the Halloween movie. <laughs> right. Uh, slasher flicks. But uh, I really like Nightmare, uh, Before, Nightmare Christmas. Before Christmas. It's just a solid Halloween movie. Y- yeah. I agree. I can watch it with my kids. It's not hollow. It's solid. And it is Ween. <laughs> it's Ween. The <laughs> band Ween. But to hold on to what is everyone's favorite Halloween movie in the chat? That's the more important. Coraline's good. I like Coraline. I have very not, creepy. I have not seen any of them. I have I've not seen, seen Corpse Bride, Coraline, or Soul You've Patrol. not seen Coraline? No, I haven't. It's pretty good. It's pretty. It's I've so pretty not seen good. Corpse Bride though. Or Soul Patrol. Uh, not not against it. Don't have anything against it. Just haven't watched Why it. Why do you hate Coraline? I I just have a moral obligation to hate it. Ethical. All right, guy. Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. All right. All right. Ourselves by bringing 120 precursor orbs. For 120 each. precursor orbs. Do I have that many? <laughs> I don't know, but you should aim at it. No, I got 23. No, because you spent them all on uh, getting those on power cheaper cells. power cells. He wants 120. Man, statues are really got ga- inflation. You know, yeah, those it's out of control. Like 90. Come on, President Brandon, help us out. Yeah, come on, Br- Brandon. <laughs> I am reading a book about Mortal Kombat. It is fascinating. Fascinating. It just got released. It's all about oh, the history. I do like Snowy Mountain. And uh, I'm, that's my Halloween book <laughs> about Mortal Kombat. I do enjoy the Snowy Mountain. I love the snowy anything. The music gets like this. There's like bells yeah. and stuff. and it's. I love snow in general, so I'm, I'm a big snow fan. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know how this thing is being powered at all. I don't know how it's going up this rope. It's just pulling me. The, r- the rope is being pulled. Who's pulling the rope? She's activated the gondola. The gondola. Snowy mountain. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. You killed those yetis. Yeah. Oh. They just keep coming. I tell oh, you man, what. there's so many of them. I really still want the Modelo shaped Frost Buddy. Mm. I wish that they were not as expensive as they were and only served at the single purpose of cooling Modellos. Where Eagles Dare. That's a great song. Oh my god. By the Mi- Misfits. Horror punk band. I almost the missed Misfits. this guy down here. When I was in college, I had a like a wall-sized Misfits poster. It was like oh, the yeah. s- size of the wall. It was huge. I got it from Bonds. I don't know. I prefer Sadie and the Suspects. But did you have a wall-sized poster? No. I don't know. I to you that. Also, that's from Steven Universe. I haven't seen Steven Universe. Sadie Killer and the Suspects. Uh, I've, I'm sure it's a great show. Everyone talks extremely highly oh, of Steven, Steven Universe. Universe. It's great. Uh, the amount of shows I watch these days are very limited. Uh, I don't feel like I have a lot of time to sit down and watch shows. Uh, right now, that show is the Great British Baking Show. It's a new season. Specifically the Mexican episode. Boy, that Mexican episode. I, I tell still, you I still, I still need to what? watch it. I still need to watch it. Woo! I'm not saying, like, they're worse than what we would possibly do in America, but we are more familiar with Mexican food, I think. I'm not well, saying it's like super authentic or anything. But that that makes sense. But damn. What the heck? What happened? You just fell just off fell? the mountain? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Gosh darn it. <laughs> Well, I won't talk about the Mexican episode because you haven't seen it. But afterwards, it I think you got to do that roll into the. I know, but it didn't work last time. But it did work before that. Oh my god! 
Yeah, I don't really understand. Like, that episode was super weird. Again, I'm not going to go into huge detail because Tim hasn't seen it, but, like, there there are some questions as to why that ne- that episode needed to exist at all. Because Mexican cuisine? Well, yeah, but the show is not, like... They do things on that show that's not necessarily just baking yeah. for that episode. So it's like, wh- why? Like, if you're going to do... You know, Mexican baking, do Mexican baking, but that's not what they did for all of them. Oh my god, this. I know it's gonna, I'm gonna get hurt. Got him. Jeez. Hate stuff like that. Scary. Oh no. Ice. Ooh. Ice physics. Oh no. How are you it's sp- icy. Apparently you got skates on now. Just my feet, but it sounds like skates. Yeah. Yeah, I, I It's it's very strange. I don't know. The choice uh they, they got backlash for it. I don't know if you know anything on that godforsaken aisle ever gets better, but I hope they took that to heart. <laughs> So I read an interesting... uh, Yeah, that was such a weird episode. Twitter thread about the Boston Tea Party. What about? That I didn't really know. And it wasn't that people were protesting Britain raising the tax on tea. They were protesting Britain lowering the tax on tea. Because the people who did the Boston Tea Party were like rich capitalists. Well, that's the whole revolution. Right. So Britain was going to be cutting into their profits by lowering the tax on tea. And they were like, not on our watch. Yeah, that's kind of like how, like, you look at the American Revolution, and it's not to say everyone was motivated purely by profit, but it was mostly, like, financed and, and done by people who were, like, wealthy landowners. Right, and they got the, so, poor, the poor people to fight the war. Yeah, which is, sadly, not truly, in my, my estimation, a revolution as much as we like to make it out to be. Right. It was not fought for like the common well, man rising up. Anything. Yeah, yeah. To get freedom. It Absolutely like, not. Oh, uh, I want to keep making money, and America is the new land where I can do that. Yeah, and yeah. I don't want these jokers in Britain. I don't want to give them looking anything. over my yeah. shoulder, I taking let them do what my I want. profits. And we can gussy it up uh, I think to I'm say that to it's like, down. oh, it's about freedom for every man and the new ideals of the you know re- Renaissance, right? Um, which is all bullshit. Uh, anti-monarchy? Yeah, totally. Like, good good to be anti-monarchy. Not good to be, like, uh, capitalist pigs who just want to... Um, but listen, that make- is that is what this country is, stands for. Boy, as I wake up a- each and every day, don't I know it. As I live and breathe. <laughs> yeah, for now, if until it deems uh, inappropriate for me to do that. Not profitable hey if you can breathe you can generate capital for somebody if you can breathe you can do something right as long as those hands are working you can wait oh, list trust list trust is speed running moving from prime minister to out of power her approval ratings are awful no <laughs> nobody is like hey yeah we can't really like afford food and heat and She's like, yeah, but how about tax cuts for the uh, the wealthy? They've been really, really doing. Yeah, she doesn't even have the um, the command of the party, the the Tories, like uh, Thatcher did. She's she's really just lame ducking it already. this for a reason. What is he doing? I don't know. He's trying to knock down some gate, and I think I need to knock him out. I need this red eco to do it. I've heard that Mama said that. To knock you out. Mama told me not to come. I'm a comer. <laughs> Watch him, he's a comer. <laughs> that has been rattling in my fucking brain all week. <laughs> Awful human, fascist piece of shit. He says the weirdest shit sometimes. Yeah. 
Watch him. I'm going to come. Watch him. He's a comer. <laughs> Why? Why say that? Uh, we are Boilermakers. We are comers all. <laughs> comers all. <laughs> it's it's Donald Trump from his desk, uh, like in Trump <laughs> Tower. He had... Uh, what an idiot. Now I gotta just, I'm gonna, I know it's in the signal chat, the group chat, so I'm just gonna play it, the audio at least. <laughs> just He's talking about Rick Perry. Rick Perry! <laughs> oh god. That was like uh. early 2016. Watch him, he's a comer. <laughs> I'm gonna get hurt by this thing. You are gonna get hurt by that thing. Watch Making him. weird bird noises. Watch him. <laughs> he's a comer. <laughs> Oof. You almost fell off that mountain. Oh, get away from me. Ooh. Sound cut out for a second. I'm so sorry. Frick. Where the frick are they? It doesn't even go here. Well, this might be a good time to call it a. Yes. Call it a sewed anyway. Call it a sewed. You gotta sewed make here. sure to save. Yeah. Ugh. I stopped one of them. All right. Save James. Save this one. Yeah. Yes. Well, thanks everybody thanks for for, hanging for coming. That's right. <laughs> 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 it's funny. I hope everyone has a great rest of your Thursday. That's right. And a Friday into the weekend. Thirst it up. Just vibing. Just fucking vibing <laughs> into the weekend. You know. Just vibes. I, it's been about a month since I've had a drink, so this thing has already like Woo! mellowed me out. Uh, turns out when you don't drink for a while, your tolerance goes down. Rip it and sip it. Yeah, boy, that's what I did. Um, yeah, thanks for thanks for coming. We'll we'll see you next time on the next time. Bye. And also fart. fart. <laughs>